and welcome or welcome back to Small Shop. I'm Christy. And I'm Naomi. Hello. <laughs> we're a little rusty. We're a little rusty. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> it has been a while. It's to keep you guys in the dark. Um, we spoke perfectly to Sandra and Nitsa in the end in the dark for a little while. Um, let's just you know that Hector for both of us, so we just kind of hit the pause button. Um, I posted an Instagram story today like that. Ooh. We resuming normal scheduling of the TV show. Um, uh, Fancy brother and small talk after Christmas, so probably like the week after Christmas. Um, yeah. So this is kind of like a random rounding off <laughs> two different seasons. I don't know. It's just kind of a a closer um, yeah. episode just to round off this year so far. Well, year it's been it. <laughs> Oh, tell me about it. Honestly, wow, this year has been so much. Mm-hmm. My, I'm just worried that, like, we're all saying, oh, this year has been so bad. Next year has to be better. But what if it's not better? No, right? What if 2021 is not any better? Uh, that's what I'm worried about. Just keep your expectations low. <laughs> honestly, I mean, honestly, we're all saying, like, it has to be better than this. But mm-hmm. this year pulled so much shit out of the hat that we couldn't mm-hmm. have even fathomed like we who knows what t- next year could bring yeah hopefully Quite more vaccines and <laughs> yeah a normalcy in some way it might know. it might bring like aliens well, maybe aliens. that could be interesting that could be a good episode we could interview them this is true yeah. but it could also mean the literal apocalypse but We'd have a good podcast. <laughs> that we, no, we would. We would. That's true. We'd go out with a bang, yeah. quite literally. <laughs> oh, small talk of aliens. Why not? Um, yeah. Yeah. So congrats, everyone. You survived. Well, on the day you're listening to this, it's probably the 17th of December. So you survived most of 2020. Final hurdle. <laughs> I feel like I want to engrave on my gravestone well i won't engrave it i want never engrave my gravestone when i when i eventually die to say yeah. she survived 2020 on, on it <laughs> honestly that would be like the ultimate level of organization to know exactly when you were going to die to the point where you could engrave your oh, own yeah. gravestone engrave it. I, like, I can't do that i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't put that past you because i know i know how organized you are i feel like that is definitely something you would do <laughs> But I think I wanted to be like she survived twenty twenty. I just think it's yeah. necessary. I was thinking I'm gonna make a certificate or something at the end of this year. For everyone so I mean there's a lot of people to get a certificate, but you could just make like a word document. <laughs> people could I mean, yeah, have it. It'd be cute. It'd be a fun story <laughs> for the grandchildren. You never look at it. Yeah. Yeah, well, anyway, we're going to switch gears. Uh, this week, we thought we'd talk about, um, let's put a little bit of housekeeping there. We are here right now, obviously, chatting, or we are in your ears, <laughs> right now, and um, we will be back on, well, let's have a look at the calendar. Uh, technology. I suppose on New Year's Eve, <laughs> or like the day yeah. before us. The day before New Year's Eve, so maybe day we'll before, the day before. maybe we'll talk a little bit more about the highs and lows of 2020 that I'm so upsetting. Yeah, it'll be a little bit. We, we can have a little New Year's party. Yeah, I love it. Definitely. Yeah, we'll oh have God. a glass yeah, of wine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, mm-hmm. let's have a let's do it. Let's do some mm-hmm. chat. And then there you go. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, so, I'm working the next day, but it's fine. It's okay. Well, it's fine. <laughs> Well, we can either do it, it'll either be out the day before New Year's Eve or New Year's Eve, to be confirmed. We don't know yet, but that will be a fun one, so stay yeah. tuned, and we'll be back to regular scheduling from there on out. But um, we're going to switch, switch gears, switch gears, or switch gears, switch gears, yeah. switch gears and uh, talk about Christmas traditions um, today. We thought we'd bring a little bit, well, I thought I'd bring a little bit of them to Naomi's time, too. Um, of light <laughs> entertainment to your lives and talk about something that's positive. I mean, Christmas is everywhere right now. I'm sure everyone's yeah. noticed. If you aren't, 
Um, you don't celebrate Christmas, then we would love to hear about your traditions for whatever you do celebrate. Um, even yeah. just a birthday celebration, because maybe if you aren't religious, then that's totally cool too. Um, but we will celebrate Christmas in some way, shape, or form. And we mm-hmm. thought, why not chat about our traditions? Because yes, just you see it getting closer, and I don't know, Christmas is a nice time. It's a really complicated time, obviously, but it's a nice time to be with yeah. family and um, eat lots of food <laughs> and. That's what I'm all about for me. Good. Christmas is getting closer, and I'm going to be honest, I have not bought a single present yet. So, oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, sorry, Kirsty, yours is coming next year. Oh, yours is going to be late, actually. Yours is the only present that's going to be late out of all of my that's presents. Fine. That's fine, because you're not getting yours this year. I'm just going to have oh, to put it right perfect. there. That's <laughs> that works quite well. Everyone else <laughs> is gone, but yours is going to be late. That's fine. It's I can done. do that. Yeah. Oh no, I have one one thing to get. And I think I'm gonna go tomorrow. It's gonna go today, but then the cat came in, so I can't really go. Yeah. Yeah, I can check oh, it out. Fine. It was raining. I'll get it when they come in. You can't, you can't check out a cat for the rain, it's nasty. I have a three neighbors yeah. cat because you're new to the to the pod. It's my parents neighbors cat and I'm back home for Christmas. Um and that's that that's the same time. Who knows if I'll be going back to Aberdeen anytime soon because God knows what's happening now. But. Yeah, tell me about it. Let's talk about Christmas division. Happy, happy thoughts. Yeah. Happy things. I mean, um, to be honest, Christmas isn't really, in my household, we've never really been huge on Christmas. So we've never yeah. really had, we don't really do Christmas that much. We don't really ever have like a tree or like decorations yeah. or anything like oh, that. Yeah. No. Everybody throughout my entire life has always called me a Grinch because I'm not one of those people that like gets really, really excited for Christmas. Okay. Not that I don't enjoy it, but like I don't, mm. I don't like or I don't really identify with the really, really like commercialized side of it where it's like yeah. all about. Agree. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I hate <laughs> that side. Yeah, I love it for like family time. Yeah. I have a really big family, mm-hmm. so it's really nice to like go visit family and like the food. Oh my god, mm-hmm. yes. But yeah, seeing my family are not like huge on Christmas. I'd say the only tradition we really have is we have to watch the Polar Express. Oh, nice Christmas film. It's good. Mm. I just watched um the second half of Christmas Chronicles number two today. I watched the first half another day and then and then I don't know what happened. It's good. I I love a good Christmas film. I don't know what it is. Why is that so much? Yesterday yeah. I thought it- this one was too loud. And I said to my mom, but how did, well, I said a couple of things. First, she said, I just randomly went through to her sewing mask. And then she says that it relaxes her people. She makes masks for people for free because she says it relaxes her. And I'm telling you that women make so many masks that she can make such a big profit. But, anyways. Um, it's nice so, to do it for the fun of it. Of course. Um, I, I'm just like, it's too nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we like went to her and I said, um, how, how do you think mom like Santa Claus like all oh, kids if you're if you're listening stop? Um, how do you think like Santa Claus came about? Like it's like the biggest lie. Um, my well, parents never my parents never bought into it. Me, that's that's why to convince that. Santa Claus is real. Like, they never want it. How many kids Santa really want to see that whole thing? Because um. I said to them, how do you think that happened? Like, do you ever wonder how it happened? Because that's such a, that's the world, it's literally the world's biggest lie. Like, world. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. It's in every place. Whether, whether everyone is doing it or not, it's obviously different, but it's, it's really, like, it's big. And I just thought, how did it all start, though? Like, how, I how, think how because, I think, I that? think it's Coca-Cola. I blame Coca-Cola. Yeah, but it's just like, how did it become such a big, do you know what I mean? Like, I want to yeah. know a little bit more about that. Maybe there'll be an episode on that one day. I, I, yeah, we should, we should do an episode once we found the yeah. facts. But my speculation oh. is it's Coca Cola. Because obviously, it's from the like, they made the folk that. tale about, yeah, the, the folk yeah. tale about, you know, Chris Kringle. But that was such a very like mm. small town, maybe like East European or something. Is it not yeah, something like that? 
yeah i'm not yeah. sure but yeah i i reckon coca-cola took the story and ran with it and because they're such yeah. a global company they were able to then just pass mm. it on to the whole world and now it's just become a mm. true thing this is so crazy like because then i said her after that i said and also i just find it crazy to think about that Santa Claus is the biggest capitalistic icon in the world i said he's the biggest symbol yeah. <laughs> Oh, and my a bit mom, like that. And my mum went, no, because that would ruin everything. And I said, yeah. She's like, that keeps on the fun out of it, Christy. And I said, like, no, I still think it's fun, but I just think it's interesting to think about that perspective. Like, if he's like the biggest icon of happiness. I've never considered that. Right? I literally would never consider that. Because then that's why I want to know the origin more, because I don't think St. Nick, like, if St. Nick is the origin, like he was like a, a Jupiter kind of guy and he did party yeah, and stuff and that's like why he's a saint, right? Because he was a he was a nice guy and he did things for other people, but he didn't bat like, he wasn't a capitalist. I don't know capitalism existed then, but he wasn't like capitalist per se, like he was a he was a Jupiter. So why yeah. is it more all about like maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe like it's, the story was was originally that and then it maybe it was I feel like there has to be some kind of like obviously okay. Christmas is like a Christian holiday, but I think the whole idea of like being good and getting a gift and being bad and getting like cold or something like that, that must also be like a very Christian theme, probably to try and teach children mm-hmm. about like this might be a reach, but about like heaven and hell. So mm-hmm. like if you do good then you get good things. It's like going to heaven. If yeah. you if you aren't good then you get like a bad present like a piece of coal and i guess that symbolizes like you go to hell if you don't do good yeah, things maybe. but again this yeah, is santa cool. claus isn't in the bible you know like <laughs> no he's not but yeah christmas is still <laughs> such a quintessentially christian holiday yeah, yeah right. oh, of course. that's where it confuses me because i doubt that it's a christian holiday in terms of like the birth of jesus in terms Christ. of jesus's that's birth the yeah the nativity and everything like that i understand all of that and I understand yeah. that I was giving gifts um, because the wise men gave gifts and things like that. And yeah. like food and wine and stuff. But like that, that's why Santa Claus is just like a, a lot <laughs> on me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Where did that? Yeah, actually, I don't think I've ever thought about this. You know, when an old man like goes in someone's chimney, like trespassing, like, you know what I mean? Like, that guy's yeah. a lot. I just don't know if you're out there, but. No, <laughs> oh, I think you've made a very good point there that I think a lot of people haven't considered. Hmm. Yeah, it's such a dilemma as a teacher because it's like, do I want to continue this? <laughs> this talk yeah. is in all these children's minds, but then I'm like, well, they're not my kids. But then I, that's what I yeah. think. What will it's I tell my It's like breaking into ha- people's houses is bad unless <laughs> you're giving them. Yeah. Then it's fine, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. It's yeah. weird. But, but then, to be fair, I, I mean, my parents did do Santa and they did Patisse, but they didn't do any of these other things. So I didn't do those. What was the other one? None of it. Easter no, bunny and stuff. Yeah. I didn't know anything about that. It was not an adult. I was on the tally. Yeah, I wonder why <laughs> Santa is so much more, um, like, doing, like, teaching your kids about Santa and, like, Keeping up with this myth that Santa is real is, is such a more right? thing to do than like the Easter Bunny, considering mm. they're both very Christian holidays to do with Jesus. Agreed. But you don't really. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the, I also feel like the Easter is bigger than that. I don't. I never really heard of the Easter Bunny growing up. Yeah. Like, yeah like, you know he's there, but like you don't know what he really does. The religion, like, <laughs> it's not really that relevant to like what Easter is about. So. Yeah, but then neither is. Yeah, that's true. Oh, but neither is Santa, I know. Exactly, you know, neither is Santa as we know him. Like so. Christmas parties and Santa's there. I think it's like, probably because... I think it's because capitalism cannot benefit <laughs> from the Easter Bunny to the same extent that it can Santa that's Claus, true. therefore they don't push that is true. it as much. It's but a Christmas, it's like... Yeah. Well, the teacher is kind of like... A weird one. It's kind of like the idea of like work. <laughs> like 
you do something that's not work, but it's like trading. It's like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's like trading. Give, me, give me a piece of your body and you will get money in return. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> in the black market, found your chibi. Oh, we are way off track. Um, yeah. It's, it's delicious. I just, that just came to my head the other day and I just kind of shake that. And I can't really talk to my class about it because I think some of them are not there anymore anyway, but some of them believe in Santa still. So, so like, I can't be like, yeah. oh, this is me. <laughs> so I'll be like, this is like, I don't what you're talking about. <laughs> and I'll be like, but how did all your parents lie to you for so long? Does that not make you mad? And they'll be like, they're lying. And I'll be like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of angry parents down at that school, like, where is oh, she? Yeah. What are you teaching our kids? What are you doing? I was like, oh god, okay. Um, yeah. Well, we have a couple. We don't see the thing is, I didn't think we had traditions, like Christmas traditions, right. really, because we don't have anything that's kind of explicitly a tradition. If you see what I mean. And then yeah. I said to my dad, we had a kid, my cousins, we used to do this thing, and for the thing. Ailey is probably the only one that's just saying it of all five years, so hey, Ailey has a problem. Um, and they used to sing every year at Christmas, on Christmas Eve. They, so my dad has a brother and sister, and my mom's an only child, so just have my five cousins. And um, my auntie and her like family would go to like my uncle's house, or vice versa, and they would yeah. have, um, like obviously, the blood-related one. And then... Um, they would have like a games night every Christmas Eve. Okay. They have a board game night and they have a little fun like chuckle hoot in the night. And we, that we didn't actually get sounds in- like a lot of fun. Yeah, right. And we didn't get invited. And I I'm still mad about it to this day. Not love. But we didn't get invited because no one in my household, apart from me, likes games. Like my parents and my brother like they don't like board games, they don't like games, like so we didn't get invited because none of them like it. And I she still makes me mad because like could have just invited me myself. Because then my dad my dad used to say when we were younger, he used to tell me when I was younger because I was unaware about it. Oh, he looks too far away. They were in five. Like it's right now that's far with all the tears, but like in general, it's not it's not that far. Not away. That far. They just it's didn't want to go. Far. I was just like, this is so rude. So um that was a I, I'm always bringing that up and like and I said to my parents today so when I have my own family we're gonna have a game tonight all the time you won't we're be invited constantly no and you'll be there and you'll have to play and they were like and you will have fun it's not a choice and they were like oh wow well, you will come and I was like no you will and then I said I'm all and my kids are gonna love games and play with my partner my parents yeah. were like, well, that would work, so I'll just force them. And I was like, I don't want you to. I don't have fun. No. And they'll have fun. That's how it works. Yes. This will be, it will be part of the vetting process when you're dating someone on the first date. So do you like board games? No? Okay, check. Please, I'm having family friends, like, even, like, our families can meet and they can play games. Like, that's so fun. Like, what a future. Maybe we'll still be podcasting that. Yeah, that is fun. I mean, I have a very big family, so, like, I do like playing games with my family, although the one board game that we cannot ever play anymore, Frustration. Ooh, what's that? Frustration. Yeah, I don't even know about the games, because they never got to play them. <laughs> oh. Frustration is, like, a board game where, you, like, each person has, um like, a little, like, counter things mm-hmm. that represent their colour, and it's kind of like Ludo, where you have to, like, roll the okay. dice and get your counter yeah, yeah. all the way around the board, but Frustration has, like, a little plastic dome in the middle that has the dice in it, and you oh, wait, I think dome do down that. to roll the dice. Oh, wait, I think you that the name of it. Yeah. That, for some yeah. reason, that game always and that's the one where you have issues. to get, you go around the board, right, and then you go up your yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. line, that one. and then if you don't that get one. the right number to end, you go back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I played yeah. that with that my one, that one always creates tension like, me and my cousins. Really? Yeah. I played that with the I played that with kids, like um Ash or something stuff. Um yeah. that's so funny. Yeah, so that's the tradition we don't have. So I was saying to my dad, Well, we don't have any traditions, like we're boring, like we're <laughs> not. And then yeah. he was like, We do have traditions, like we do these things every year and I was like, Oh, all right. So every year, one thing we do that is actually really cool, and we do still do it, and don't judge us, we are 
him. She's ready me to fill in as well for this year. What else do we have? Oh, Sarah's Pudding, I think. I don't know if you've ever heard of Sarah's Pudding. It's like a Sarah's Pudding is like a a creamy kind of dessert that's then with raspberries and condensed milk and that kind of it's kind of a mushy kind of thing, I suppose. Right. That's why I just it. It's all so yummy. Um, makes me feel so ill after a while, but <laughs> it's a lot of dairy. <laughs> but um, it's pretty good. And then we finish, of course, with the classic cheese and wine. Mm. So, I like cheese boys before it was cool. So. This sounds like a very traditionally British Christmas, and oh. my Christmas is like our food is nothing like this. Oh, like, that is generally, hot. I need to hear what you're saying. Generally, what we would do, I mean, we don't really do this that much anymore because, like, as we've got older, all of our diets have changed. So we mm-hmm. used to do, for breakfast, we would have, like, we would have a very, like, Caribbean breakfast. So mm-hmm. we would have, like, scrambled eggs and toast, but then we'd also make, like, fried dumplings and we'd have Ooh. it with ackee and salt fish. Um, mm-hmm. So it'd be a very, t- like, typically Caribbean breakfast. We'd and then it. for lunch, we would have, like, we'd make chicken wings. Nice. Um, and then for dinner, we, we would have, like, wings, the, huh? Did you have, like, dirt chicken wings? Or just, like... Um, yeah, I mean, just kind of whatever we had. Sometimes it was jerk, sometimes it was barbecue, sometimes it was just, like, whatever, whatever we felt yeah. like. Um, and then for dinner, generally for Christmas dinner in my family, we always kind of, like, mix and match with, like, a more traditional and then also a more, like, cultural. So we would have, like, whatever bird. We tend to like alternate every year a Christmas like a turkey or a chicken, but then we would also have like some lamb or like some curry yeah. goat, and then we'd have the potatoes yeah. and the roast vegetables. But then we'd also have like rice and peas, and I would always make mac and cheese because my mac and cheese was the best. Ooh, uh, yeah, so it was always it. like, yeah, it was always a mishmash of things. I do remember one Christmas we had it at my granny's house, and somebody made peanut punch and they put it back mm. in the same like milk carton and didn't label it so me so me and my mum then made mac and cheese for dinner and didn't realize until we were eating it that it tasted a little bit funny which is when we then oh, realized no. we made it with the peanut punch <laughs> instead of oh, the milk <laughs> oh god did it taste potato like, no it, it tasted terribly oh. But nobody said like we could all we all noticed that it tasted off, but nobody said anything. <laughs> That's horrible. Um, yeah. Oh, and then we would t- and then for dessert, I would generally make an apple crumble. So we'd have apple crumble and custard. Mm. But That's now we so kind of all just do our own thing because like my brother's vegan and yeah, we kind of do whatever. I think this year. I'm going to try and really push the boat out and do something ridiculous, but I'm going to attempt to make my turkey in the air fryer. Oh my god, do it. Maybe that'll make it back dry. (laughs) Yeah, that's the thing with turkey. It's really hard to get it. It, Turkey is really dry. The only thing I liked about having a bird at Christmas was like, if I'd normally be working, the next yeah. day, like in retail, like I, I don't remember. Like this is probably like the first time in forever where I haven't worked Boxing Day, and like yeah. the you didn't work last year, but I was still, still working like a round by it then. And um, the only good thing was like a leftover sandwich that you took to work. That was like your one, yeah. <laughs> your one moment of joy when people were shouting at you to like march with Spencer's men to actually fucking fold a puffer jacket properly. And I was like, who yeah. folds a puffer jacket? Just cram it in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I don't miss those days. To everyone working retail, of course, I need to miss all of them. Yeah. Uh, I applaud you. I mean, I guess the good thing to come out of these tears is that hopefully none of you are working such crazy hours as normal, and maybe, maybe some of you are Yeah, I, won't, I don't think he'll be so busy this year. But yeah, to be fair, no. my favorite part about having the bird on Christmas was always the stuffing, because nobody else in my mm. house likes stuffing. So my, it, I would make my mom make a like a massive. You what? We're just gonna have the stuffing on the junk day. We just have like loads of it. Yeah, we would. My, I would get my mom to still make a massive tray of stuffing, and only I would eat it. And then whatever was left, we'd like slice it up and put it in the freezer. So then I could just like randomly have stuffing yeah. whenever I felt like it, at, at like random times of the year. That's genius. Yeah, that's a great idea. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do a walk though? 
we walk, like, go to walk. And it's just, like, we, I don't know if we go to the stay. Sometimes we go to, like, the same meals if we're really feeling like we need to put down and even we got about, like, yeah. No, we would, I mean, they probably have an afternoon nap. We might like, sleep on yeah. the food and, like, we'd just be, like, watching movies all day. Yeah. But we wouldn't really go on a walk, no. Yeah, I think my parents always go on Christmas Day. I could be yeah. wrong, but we definitely do always have a Boxing Day walk every year. We go on a walk on Boxing Day. It's nice, but yeah. I'm, I feel like they go on a walk and I watch the TV. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's the correct you know, thing to like do. Cleaning up or like doing something, you just don't really want to get like in her road, so I just kind of like watch TV and do my own yeah. Watch like whatever just came out, no other shit things that come out on Christmas Day or whatever, and she's behind there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Maybe we watch a movie sometimes, I don't remember. I think we're all kind of tired today, yeah, so it's just pretty nice. I feel like between meals on Christmas is always a blur. Like, you never know what you're doing between the times <laughs> of eating, but you always remember eating. Yeah, that's so true. It really is. Apart from, like, if you're opening presents between, then you remember that, but. Yeah. We normally do that kind of in one sitting, though, so. No. We'll, we do save the treasure hunt for later on in the day, so just, like, give us something. I still like, feel like that is so cute. That yeah, is so cool. cute. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And they're funny as well. They always write songs that are pretty, pretty entertaining. They're quite witty, so it's like they're kind of making fun of you at the same time, but it's fine. <laughs> you don't mind. I think you that know. is definitely something I will do with my family in future. Yeah, I, my parents do it for my... 18th maybe I think um uh treasure hunt around Adam Ralph where obviously he's a little bit different so they're like um my mom like gave me a map like with I don't know yeah. um like a map of Edinburgh and that uh, like our uh, envelopes or envelopes or whatever you want to call them in a poly pocket and then um right. you can like read each clue as when she arrived at the next the place and like one place he's like a restaurant and then my mom is like phoned ahead or whatever and like book the table and stuff and like paid for it in advance oh, or so or the envelope had like a voucher in it to pay for it like an Amazon or something so you'd like do it like that yeah it was me yeah. it was too fun yeah it was good that is adorable so, they're so pretty lovely. they're pretty good and they did um what did they do they did something they you surprised me because my 21st was in Canada yeah, and I was yeah. like, I think I was quite gutted because um, my birthday is so early on in the year. And obviously, I'd only moved abroad um, like early January, and my birthday is like um, the 20th. So I just want a lot of time to meet people and get to know people and like be with people who are close with. So that yeah. I, you can't form such um, strong friendships in that amount of time. Well, you can, but I was kind of like, oh God, like, I'm not going to be with people I really know. Like, um, yeah. At this time, I just moved for last, um, and I was like, "Oh, this is like weird. Like, I'm gonna be like going down on my twenty first, like morning and day." Um, and they surprised me. They like find a restaurant that did like pulled pork mac and cheese. I've never had it since because honestly, I don't think anywhere else would do it justice, and um, I can't find it anywhere. Um, <laughs> so I was not there. They like find they must have find it, and they just like text me their address, or like go there and use the card or something. I mean, I think he's managed to book a table. It was crazy. I was like, how have you done that? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's just, what? Yeah, it was good. My birthday actually turned out to be surprisingly good. I think it was good because I had no expectations, which honestly is going to be so tough this year. This year, I don't have no expectations. I have very low expectations. Yeah, yeah, no, no, This year, I'm expecting nothing to happen. But that year, I just kind of had no expectations of what would happen. And um, it turned out really good. I had, um, what did we do? The night before, we were all like a bunch of us ex- exchange students were like hanging out and ordered Domino's. Yeah. And um, the Domino's came at like five to midnight or something. And my pizza was burnt. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> and then, at, like two minutes to midnight, the bloody fire alarm goes off. And oh, I made like um, basketball shorts. And like spiders and all because it, we're all in this flat and like this is pre COVID. So we're all in this flat and it's so hot and there's so many of us in it that um you're just kinda of wearing stuff that you're cooling, but like outside it's like minus five or whatever, like it's Canada in January. Um, so then we all had to go outside and like, 
on this piece of graphic. It just turned 21, technically. Well, technically, not till 5 p.m. that day, but I was like, no, not I don't know what time I was born at. Um, and I was like, I'm freezing. <laughs> and I was like, bloody. And so we went into the bar that was next to our um, next to our place. And I was just there in basketball shorts, like moving like absolute crap. And I was like, oh my god, like what is this? So then the day, the day took a turn for the better. So then. We must have gone for, I think we went for lunch that day, did we? Yeah, we did. Oh, we'd been drinking a little bit the night before, I think. And we, um, so then there was a women's march on my birthday. So I went to, yeah, I went to an international women's march on my birthday, which is like, because this girl told me about it. And she said, I don't know if you want to go, like, on your birthday. And I was like, do you even know me? Like, <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? There's nowhere I would rather be. So we went to lunch, and then we went out for lunch, and then we all came back. We were so tired, so we did not. <laughs> and then that night, we had one of those like co-op parties, which is terrible in like, the basement of our building. We put on these parties that absolutely sucked, but we got like free alcohol. So we basically went there and like had the three, the three free drinks. I would say like the number to Naomi there, and I just realized that no one else was here. Um, and then, I appreciated it, really. And then, um, what did we do? Yeah, so then we had those, and then we went, so we must have just gone to my room, or sort of drawing towards that, a big, massive room, very unexpected. Um, but we still, like, chill. <laughs> and um, we went to my room for ages, and then we were supposed to go to the club, got there, and it was, like, busy, and we had to get money out and everything, and I was just kind of, like, like, over it. And it was, like, five to 11, so we ended up back in that bar, with next to our, wow. our place. In a shop on birthday, so I ended up just being uh, like, sound uh, like a birthday and a half. Yeah, it was a good time, it was just un- unexpected. I think that's the best is I always over plan my birthdays, so I end up not living up to expectations. I think that's kind of the thing though with this year, but like obviously, this whole year doesn't live up to anyone's ex- expectations. But I think there's something kind of eerily nice about September right now, and this maybe this is not the best phrase, but like. There's something about this December that is nicer than any other December. Obviously, yeah, the, there's, there's a lot so. of downsides. There's a lot of downsides. I think it sucks that like we're in a world pandemic, and it sucks that we're in, people are dying, and all of those things. Obviously, all these negative things are terrible. But there's some like I don't know silver linings this year, and I think a lot of them are kind of coming through this month. Like things like December is normally like such a hectic. And the busy and overwhelming month. Yeah. I've actually, for once in my life, like, had time to just, like, recuperate from my life, which never yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah, nice, right? like, yeah. Nice, right? Yeah. I mean, to I'm... To be fair, I feel the same because, like, what I said at the beginning, and, like, I'm not really a huge Christmas person because I don't really like the whole, like, capitalist side of it, that it's all about the Yeah, business. and the whole, like, like, like Christmas because... meal thing as well, which when you have so many to go to, it's really exhausting. Yeah, whereas I feel like because this year people haven't had much time to spend with their family, mm-hmm. like the focus is is about family, which I yeah, feel like exactly. what Christmas is supposed and to be about. Family. And also because people have like been out of work, they just mm-hmm. simply can't afford to buy as many presents as they have been before. Mm-hmm. But people are okay with it this year. Mm-hmm. It's not a thing of like, oh my god, you didn't get me that brand new, ridiculously expensive thing I wanted. It's like, okay, you couldn't afford it. I understand that, but yeah, you're exactly. here with me. that's the important thing. Agree. I think it's that's yeah, nice. Like, I think for all the Christmas parties and work night outs and dinners and different groups of friends and different things yeah, going on, can cool. be so overwhelming because it's not just like a lot of time and energy, but like a lot of those contain a lot of food. And like, I love to eat, but like. I thought if you have like three Christmas dinners in a row, like three, three days in a row, it's just not a good time. It's yeah. not a good time for anyone. And I think it's just kind of nice to enjoy December. Like, enjoy actually like, being at my parents without being like, oh my God, like, I need to see so and so at this time, and then I need to go here at this time and do this at that time and be there and do this. Like, it's kind of nice to like, not schedule Christmas for once because I just realize it's just a little bit weary. Yeah. yeah, no, I get what you mean. Mm. Oh my goodness, we've been talking so long. 
sorry, everyone. He's just been so long, everyone. We miss you all this so is, much. This is two call. episodes in one, seeing as we right? didn't have the last one. Yeah, we, we just miss you all so much on the pod. Now, I mean, I haven't really had a chance to come up. This is true, and so many before. things have happened in our lives. So, that's, yeah. that's what happened there. <laughs> Thank you so much, and you stay till the end, MVPs. Um, do you go on to our Instagram though, and I'm sure. There will be regular posts coming out again soon. I am working on updating the website to finally have all the transcriptions up, so stay tuned and we'll have them one day. And um, yeah, it's been lovely chatting with you, and I guess you'll hear from us. At the, is that what I said? There's something coming out. Yeah, and another episode, I can tell you that, and I can't remember what it was. Okay, you'll hear from us, and maybe we can just say we're doing it on your TV. We've got a good mood, and then if it goes up early, it'll be a nice surprise. Yeah, I don't have any weird things to watch, so. Yeah. I don't know where to go. Yeah, so, you'll hear from us then, because we'll do like a live episode. Like a full slide, we should do that three days in our life. We're not doing the video thing. We're not there yet. One day. One day. Okay. One day, but not, not this year. Yeah. No. It's not the year for videos. No, it's not. Oh, oh, no, no, I've looked, I've looked trash for the majority of this year. This year's not the year. A complete lie. It's stunning right now. No, you're right. I always look good. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we will find more things next year, but yeah, join us on New Year's Eve, so all about the future of the Anthony 2020. And that, that leads to the history of us, because that's probably what's going to happen. Why not? Yeah, there's enough to do, so yeah. might even be an hour long, you never know. Ah. <laughs> yeah, there's enough to do, so might even be an hour long, you never know. You know, we're really hitting out this week, so you never know. Yeah. Okay. So don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Fancy Brother and our website, which will have more stuff on it soon, is www.fancybrother.com. But you can always contact us. And that's the interesting in being on the call. So it's something like to talk about. So yeah, thanks for listening, and we will talk to you on the Bye.